Welcome. What you're about to watch is from my Getting Started with Obsidian course. This is one of the lessons on workspaces. You can find that course uh, in the links below. Uh, going over to Skillshare, curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare, and searching Obsidian. And I get some affiliate income, and they actually, you know, pay me if you do the course. So if you like it, head on over to the course and get a handle on what you can do with Obsidian. Have a good one. In this video, we're going to take a look at Obsidian workspaces, what they are, what you can do with them, and just how awesome they are, because I think they are an excellent feature of Obsidian. So workspaces, what is it? This is actually a, is it a core plugin? It is a core plugin. So you have to turn it on in your core plugins. And then you have basically saved states. So something I showed in a previous video was if I open, I go workspace, load workspace, and then I can choose my workspaces. You can see I have four of them. I have my writing workspace. This literally just opens up into full screen. This is what it basically is, a saved configuration. So saved file, um, saves your search panel, saves everything. So it's opened up to my Kanban board and how I you know, develop all my, um, my videos for my YouTube channel. You see, here's all my ideas. You can see what I'm working on, useful things in iPadOS 15. We'll be recording that in a couple of days. And I may be doing one on uh, Dev and Think to go. And then I have a lot of stuff because it's mildly disorganized right now, which happens. Or you can go to workspace, load, I could say book review. So I want two panels open, and then I would usually open the book review. So I would open something like footprints review. And on this side, open up footprints. This is a review I did a while ago. So I'd actually have my, this is where I'd be writing. This is my notes on the book. And that's how I'd get to it real easy. Or I could go to um, load workspace. Uh, random note. This is one I also use and actually has saved a search and saved my panel configuration for that. So how do we get a workspace that we want? Really, all we do is set up whatever we want, whether it's our sidebars opened or closed. So let's say you want to open up a desk build, something I'm kind of, you know, playing with. Desk build, and I want to be able to open up that, and I want to be able to open it up in split with, um, oh, what other note? Split vertically with... Uh, some other note, uh, monitors, sure, why not monitors? So now that I have this set up with the panels I want in theory, or if I wanted my sidebars open, I'd open them. I can go over here and say manage workspaces. I can save this as a test workspace and save. Now I can get right back to it. So if I went, wanted to do work load and I want to go to writing, see I'm at writing, and then I could go to load workspace, and I could go to test. Take me right back to where I was set up. So I think workspaces are powerful for you. And I think that as you get to know Obsidian and get to know the configurations you want, they can save a lot of time in just clicking around and setting up UI. Um, they're really good. It's a default plugin. You should all be using it. 